Hey guys, Hackersploit here, back again with another video and welcome back to the web application penetration testing series. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to perform a simple load balancer scan. Now again, this was something extremely requested and obviously falls under the category of video suggestions for the year 2018. So I thought I'll start off with this in this series so that we can then move on to more important topics in the same series. Uh, for example, we'll be looking at cross-site scripting, etc. You know, we'll be continuing with the flow that I discussed in the previous videos in this series. So a lot of you guys have been asking me about load balancing and how to perform a scan, uh, you know, to prove or to show whether a site is using either HTTP load balancing or DNS load balancing. Uh, so for those of you who didn't know what types of load balancing scans you can perform, those are the two that you can perform. And again, why is this important? Well, Usually when people perform penetration tests on sites or web applications, they tend, they tend to find, uh, or they tend to get different results on probably you can say if you had to perform the scan now and then the scan after 20 minutes because there is load balancing technology in play, uh, it will forward your requests and it will transfer your requests, your HTTP requests or your DNS requests onto different servers so you'll get different results. Uh, and you know that may turn it may really mess with the penetration testers mind if they don't know about load balancing because they they might you know they, they must be wondering why they're getting different results every time they perform a scan so it can really confuse your your workflow and it can it can really make you make a lot of mistakes especially in judgment and then carrying on the penetration test all right so we are going to be using a tool that is pre-installed on all penetration testing distributions it is called lbd uh, so its purpose is to uh, essentially scan a domain for either DNS or HTTP load balancing or load balancers. So it's really very simple to use. Now, of course, this video is going to be really, really quick. And that's because it's really extremely simple to run this scan. So uh, I should have actually uh, checked my profile preferences if I can do that right now. I believe that's in preferences here. And uh, and uh, if I can just increase my uh, my font size. I believe that's in text here. So initial terminal, no, that is the terminal size. Let's increase the font size here to 14. There we are. Let's close that up. All right. So this, this tool, it's simply uh, the command LBD followed by the domain that domain that you want to scan. All right. So we, in this case, are going to use uh, bbc.com just for the purpose of this video. And of course, this is simply for educational purposes only. All right, so this will tell us whether the whether or not bbc.com uses either HTTP domain ba uh, load balancers or DNS load balancers. Of course, that can greatly give you different results when performing a penetration test. You know, on a site that uses uh, these load balancers, that's because they have a lot of traffic incoming or a lot of requests, and and it helps them uh, keep the site speedy and responsive. All right, so uh, we use the command lbd. And then we specify the domain. So for example, www.bbc.com. And that's it. We just hit enter. And once I've hit enter, you can see that it's going to check for DNS load balancing. Let me just expand that. And as you can see, we have DNS load balancing. Obviously, bbc.com is a huge site that gets a lot of requests. And it comes as no surprise that, um, that it has two DNS servers under different, uh, under the same subnet, uh, IP subnet. Uh, but with different IPs. So yeah, that's important information that you really need to know. <coughs> Sorry about that. So now it's going to check for HTTP load balancing. So we're going to let this complete. And uh, when it's complete, let's see what results we were able to get. So, all right. So uh, it looks like it has started the scan for the HTTP load balancing. And there we are. Let it just complete the scan and once it gives us its summary, we can then get a good idea of what uh, load balancing systems are in place. All right, so um, let's just wait for this to complete. Um, there we are. All right, so we've got results. results. Let's actually go through them and let's understand what exactly is going on here. So you can see the tool is the load balancing detector version 0.4. Not a lot of people know about this, but as I said, Kali Linux and any other penetration distribution have really important tools really hidden away that many people have forgotten over time. So um, as you can see, it's going to check for DNS load balancing, which it found. It has these two uh, IP addresses under the same subnet, which is always good and good practice. So we know that BBC is doing their job right. Uh, it then checked for load balancing via dates and uh, we then got a check. It, it's good, then going to check for HTTP load balancing again and it was found. 
You can then look at the cache information and the expiry and there you are. So BBC does load balancing and it, it found the methods DNS and HTTP. Obviously, we were expecting that given the, the scale of the site and the fact that it gets millions of users, you know, clicking on it every day, requesting for the website, you know, going on to the website. So it helps the, the website stay fast and uh, responsive to every request. So that's going to be it for this video. Just a quick little video before we move into the advanced stuff on in regards to load balancing. Very important information that a lot of people overlook and it can really change the, you know, the, the, the path of your penetration test depending on, uh, you know, the type of web application you're testing it on. That being said, that's going to be it for this video. If you found value in this video, please leave a like down below. If you have any questions or suggestions, let me know in the comment section on my social networks or on my website. And I'll be getting back to you in the next video. Peace, guys.